YouTubers, once again, this is Lamin Sane of El Swat, and um, here we are in this second series of these semi um, JavaScript tips. And um, in this video tutorial, we're going to be having a look at mistakes in for loops. So basically, when people are writing for loops, there's a certain um, mistake that I see all around, and um, I actually hadn't realized it myself lately till lately. And um, I wanted to share this tip with you because um, I feel like it needs to stop, basically. <laughs> I'm not being too authoritative here, I hope. But um, it, it's it's something that could really hurt you. And um, I hope you, you learn a lot from that. So basically, I hope that you know what a for loop is. And if you don't, I encourage you to go have a search around and and see what it is because you might not be able to follow with this but either way just give it a try if you don't understand it go around and do a bit of google for for loops and have a little, little read about and it's not very hard to understand okay so let's get into the meat of things so let's say you have a for loop usually how i see people use for loops in javascript is they do var i and they do something like var i is less than say six I plus plus okay so basically these people use the for loop inside sorry the the value of I inside like this maybe they log I out it's just an example nobody really uses I like this but let's say we log the value of I for I is I from um, 0 to less than 6 so that would be 0 to 5 so we expect to see that in the browser here. So we refresh, I run from zero to five, okay? That's fine. But one thing that most people um, just think is happening is that I is just being declared and defined inside this function here. But when you leave, sorry, in the for loop, but when you leave the for loop, I doesn't exist anymore. But that's not what actually is happening. So if we come back outside, remember we didn't define I explicitly before the for loop, but when we come outside the for loop and we do control.log I, I still exists outside the for loop even. So you remember the for loop um, output that I values from zero to five, but when we refresh, we'll see the last value of I that is six. So you see six here. Just let me add a string here to say value of I after loop is and then we'll just do a backslash string plus here backslash string that's just to put quotes around i so if i refresh you'll see that value of i after loop is six so remember we we put outputting i here so that means i exists even outside the for loop so let's do something like the reason i actually brought this up was because you might assume that I doesn't exist outside the for loop, but so if you had I being used before the for loop, this for loop here will override that I. So imagine you had I equal to some string. Remember, you wouldn't be doing this normally, giving values different, um, giving the variable different string types because that kind of doesn't make sense, even though JavaScript doesn't force you to give one type of value but normally you don't want to give a string and then give a number to a variable so it's not good practice okay so basically let's say you had i before the for loop and then you come in here you say var i i runs from zero to less than six which is five and then you exit the loop so you'll expect that when you log out i here it should contain some string inside here but no that's not what's going to happen let me just output value of i before the for loop and then after the for loop so value of i before loop is so that will give you some string but then we come in the loop here we redefine i again remember we're saying var i but in normal or in other programming languages when you do this i doesn't exist outside the scope of this for loop and if you don't know what scope is i'll cover scope in some upcoming videos in this series so just stay tuned please but i just feel like this one is um something that you really need to understand so let's just go back in our browser and we refresh so value of i before loop is some string we come in the loop 
we loop i um, values of i from 0 to 5 but then after the loop you expect again that when you log i you should get some string but no you get 6 because 6 was the last value of i here but it didn't log it because this condition becomes became false okay so that's what happens in for loops so basically the only way to get around this is make sure that any v value that you're using in i here i'm sorry in the loop here as the index make sure that you don't use that same value anywhere else outside of that for loop so just make sure you declare i at the top of your um script or function and use it in the loop but don't do something like var i because what you think is happening is not what is really happening okay i see this is in even big advanced javascript tutorials and i i was following along with it and i i thought it was okay but it's 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 really not and it could really hurt you so when you're using an index in a loop just make sure you declare it before the loop and um yeah that's that's all i have so now if you do this now when i refresh this what you're going to see is i goes from um zero to five and value of i after loop is six so yes i will exist after the loop but yeah that's what's happening or the other way is do this but also if you wanted to um use let's say you wanted to use i again somewhere so you can make sure that you don't just use it redefine it and give it another value let's say you have you wanted to use i again you don't want to declare another variable like number and then have to come here and do number some people don't like declaring too much variables but i'd say declare as many variables and make your program clear than actually trying to be very efficient and make it not clear so you could just use i again if you're that pedantic and now when we log i because after the loop we overwrote it now i will contain value of 78 but when you do i up here and give it 78 and you don't do it here you 78 will not be logged out here i'll just show you it still has six but if you declare it after the loop but then you log it out you should see 78 out here okay all right guys i um hope that's a bit clearer and um this was something that i even i didn't know about till recently as i said and um, i'm very glad to share it with you guys and if you have any questions feel free to um, create a topic in the forums at um, LS web apps follow forward slash forums It's a new forum that I created specifically for this um, YouTube channel and um, If you have any questions just ask them there. I'm sure there will be a lot of people watching them and um, I hope this was useful and I hope to see you in the next video tutorial Thanks for watching once again, and um, please rate and subscribe if this was helpful guys I don't even know how to you know exaggerate how useful those comments and and, and rates are they really help me um improve my um my tutorials and yeah that's that's all i have to say and once again thanks for watching bye bye